us from this is higher the pastor at the great salvation church and welcome to our weekly monday broadcast it's a sound from heaven let's pray father in the mighty name of jesus we thank you for another time in your presence in your word and the privilege to bring your word to your people i pray that as many as connected you will bless and increase mightily in the mighty name of jesus i pray that these words become the river of life and that as they drink, your life begin to walk and manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are going to start a series today that I've captioned uh, Increase is Possible. In other words, you can always increase. So the scripture says in Job chapter 8 verse 7, it said, Though thy beginning was small, it said, Thy later hand should greatly increase. In other words, yes, you have started very small. Yes, what you are doing now is small. But what God says is that my plan and my purpose is that it will increase. It will be bigger. But what I want to show us is if it is going to be bigger, then what are my responsibilities? If it is going to be bigger, what are my responsibilities? What must I do? What will bring the sure increase? So number one that we're going to be looking at today is a solid walk with God. A solid walk with God. A solid walk with God. The Bible says that Enoch walked with God and it was not. The Bible says, for God took him. And I remember sharing this with, 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 with our church. I said, it is God that fixed men. And God took him. It is God that fixed men. The Bible says, he bringeth down and he, and he raises up. So it is God that brings, that, that fix men to higher levels. So you will be doing a disservice focusing on the wrong thing, not minding your relationship with God. And that's why the scripture says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Matthew 6, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness, in order to have a solid work with God. And he said, All other things shall be added. Now, that does not connote laziness or lazy approach. For the scripture tells us in Romans chapter 12, not slothful in business. Fervent in the spirit. And it says, serving the Lord. Romans chapter 12, verse 12. I read from verse 11. Actually, verse 11. Romans 12, 11. Not slothful in business. So we must not be slothful in business. You have your business, do your business, not slothful in business. And that body says, fervent in the spirit. Fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord. So you've got to be fervent in the spirit. And that's where a solid relationship with God comes in. Because many mistakes you can and avoid, you can and able to avoid from, from that, from that, from that, from that perspective. From that, you know, side of things. Isaiah chapter 51. Isaiah chapter 51 from verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 51 from verse 1 to 3. He said, Hearken unto me, O ye that follow after righteousness, and ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock where you were hewn, and to the hole of the pit where you were digged. In other words, where you look at where you came out from, where I dug you out from. I'm talking about Abraham. And then he said, look unto Abraham, your father, and Sarah, that bear you. He said, for I called him alone. I blessed him, and I increased him. I blessed him, and I increased him, because he stayed with me. 
So a, a solid relationship with God is critical. So the question then is, what is the benefit of walking with God? What is the benefit? What do I stand to gain? What do I stand to profit if I walk with God? Romans, uh, uh, first, I beg your pardon, call First Corinthians chapter twelve verse seven. First Corinthians chapter twelve verse seven talks about the manifestation of the Spirit is given to everybody to profit. So number one thing that you will enjoy is revelation. That's the manifestation of the Spirit that profits you. It's given to everybody to profit. Revelation, uh, Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 16, verse 11 talks about that will show me the path of life in your presence. So we are shown the path of life in his presence. So revelation is one of the benefits. First benefit, one of the, the benefits of walking with God is revelation. The ability to see into the future. For the ministry of the Holy Ghost is the ministry of revelation. One of his ministries. He said he will guide you into us and show you things to come. For as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Number two is impartation of grace over your labor. Over what you do. First Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 9 to 10. First Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 9 to 10. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace. He said, yet not I, I labor. So grace does not cancel labor. He said, I labor more than there. He said, yet not hide the grace that is on me. So grace helps you to labor. And then grace makes your labor to be meaningful. Impartation. Do you know the Bible says, he said, we, when they went onto the mountain, and, and Matthew 17 verse 5, and the voice came, said, this is my beloved son in whom I will please say, hear him. That's an impartation. Now people hear you. So they, they hear ye grace. Impartation of grace on that which you do. Or you could call it favor. Listen. Nobody increases without the favor factor. People liking you. People liking what you do. People liking you. You're a pastor. You have a church. People must like you. Yes, they will be good. I will be speaking against you, but you must be likable. Do you have a business? That business must be likable. So that's why you have to pay attention to your character. Number three is, is divine guidance. Now, there's revelation, there's impartation of grace and favor, but also guidance. In other words, this is what you do, this is what you do not do. Guidance, guidance, guidance. And it is my prayer that God will guide you. Guidance, guidance, guidance. Those, those nudgings, sensitivity. No genes. That's what you get. We'll stop there and then we'll look at other ones next week. Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory that you bless and increase the year as mightily in Jesus' name. Let me invite you to our life transforming services in church. Um, Tuesdays. Tuesdays is our, our prayer meeting. Tuesday prayer meeting 7 to 8. And then Friday also is our Bible study 7 to 8 and on-site services 10 30 on Sundays 10 30 to 12 30. 10 30 a.m. to 12 30. The Lord bless you as you come in the name of Jesus. We are in Kent. The addresses and the information that you need will come on your screen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>